today's video, I'll show you how to create massive amounts of content for different social media platforms in just 28 minutes a day. My name is Jose Ricardo Rosado, and I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. So let's get down to it right now. I'm going to share my screen. So as you can see, I'm going to show you exactly what you see in the screen right now. And here's how it all starts. It all starts with Twitter. On Twitter, I find a great performing tweet. And most of my tweets are just literally, literally posted from Hype Fury. What I do is I click on the Compose button, I paste that, and I add that to the queue. Once it's queued, it's going to be posted later in the future, right? And if I see that the tweet gets enough engagement, I turn that into a screenshot that I'm going to then post on Instagram. And Instagram, here's how it looks like. Let me show you. Let's Instagram right here. And it's all tweets. And as you can see, it's getting massive engagements. 2,000 likes, 1,800 likes, 16,000 likes, 8,000 likes, 7,000 likes, 44,000 likes, and a bunch of likes, 82,000 likes. It's a lot of likes for tweet shots, like I love calling them. Now, the question is, how do I create these tweet shots? I go to an app called Figma, and I have this template right here. I'm going to leave the template down below. Just click it, and you'll be able to download this for 100% free. And here's how it looks like. I go to Twitter, I copy paste all of this, and I paste it on my Figma template. And it all starts from scheduling it in Hype Fury. Link down below. Now, the strategy behind these tweets is that I find tweets that are related to each other and I create a beautiful carousel. And as you can see, I'm talking about Picasso right here and about how many artworks he had to create. And only 1% of these are actually known by the general people. Then I just try to convey the idea of keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, and you'll find success. Avoid being a perfectionist. Just go straight forward, iterate, iterate, and it's okay to be afraid and fail sometimes. You'll be there. So as you can see, it's all repeating the same message. That's the trick. So that when someone swipes to the left and start reading your carousels, they can find value in it and find one big theme. Now, that's not all. I also write a very powerful and compelling caption. And here's how that looks like. Look, I have this first line and the first line is everything because it's what gets attention and the first line is meant to sell the second line and the second line is meant to sell the third line or the third sentences however you want to call it and i use a very simple copywriting method called the pas pass and the pas method stands for problem agitation solution the first line you describe a problem in the second third fourth fifth line you describe the problem deeper you're agitating and then at the end the yes, the solution, you provide a solution. And let me show you how that looks like in practice. Let's go back to the caption. You have the problem, then I'm agitating, then I'm going to make you feel good of what you can actually achieve. So I'm not actually agitating right here, but I'm still using a little bit of that formula right there. And then I'm telling you the solution. Sell your information. Don't just keep it inside your brain. Create a product with your, inform with your information and with your ideas. You can see the same strategy right here. Problem agitation and solution. Same here, problem, agitation, solution. Beautiful, right? You can use this for writing tweets, writing emails, writing whatever the hell you want. Now that said, once I'm done creating the images on Figma, I go to my project management system that I created in Notion. And in Notion, I have a bunch of things that I'm going to be posting later in the future. And what I do is I create a simple page in Notion let me find one, let me see, yep. And you can see this is the caption. And what I do is I copy paste the caption and I also have all of the images designed on Figma and I go to Facebook Creator Studio where I create a post, I create the Instagram feed, I of course let's zoom in, I pick my account, I copy paste the caption, let me do that right now in front of you guys, right here, and then I upload all of the content and I schedule it for a future day. That's all there is to it. And the beauty is that if I go back to my main presentation, you can see that from Instagram, I also repurpose for LinkedIn. And it's literally just copy pasting these ideas and adapting it a little bit better for LinkedIn. And what I do is I go to Taplio, taplio.com, I'll leave a link down below, and I copy and paste all of these captions right here. And it's just a copy paste with a few changes to make it better for this platform. And as you can see, I have like a month's worth of content right there, all by copy pasting the same things that I'm using on Twitter and Instagram. From time to time, I also use the caption for my newsletter. So it all starts with Twitter. I find the best performing tweets. I turn these tweets 
into an image using Figma. Then I go to my Notion account, I write down the caption and the caption, then I upload it to the Facebook Creator Studio with the images. Then I schedule that also in Taplio, of course, the caption. And finally, all of that is going to be posted on LinkedIn automatically. And I do this maybe once or twice a week. I write all of these things for a whole week of worth of content without going crazy because there's no need to. You don't need to create different types of content for different types of platform. What you do is adapt the content for the platform. That's all there is to it. And if you can focus for 28 minutes a day to write a few tweets and then turn those tweets into Instagram posts and then write a short caption and repurpose that for LinkedIn and your news, you'll have an immense amount of content that you can create in only 28 minutes a day. That's all you need to do. It all started with Hype Fury, Figma, Creator Studio, which is free, Tapio, paid, LinkedIn, Instagram, and of course, Twitter. That's all there is to it. Go ahead, create your accounts in these apps and see you in the finish line. Talk to you soon.